I'm blaming the Cubs losing on my attire. Who knows? I'm going to put glasses on, too. So that's my only way that I know how to try and make things better for the Cubs here is changing my attire. Oh, these are filthy. Can't see a thing. So also I'm drinking coffee. I haven't, I might, I might if, if things keep going as bad, poorly as they have been going, God dang it, really? I might have to start drinking beer, not whiskey. I got way too drunk off whiskey. But welcome back to the Cubs fantasy baseball season. Uh, yeah, it's good to it's good to be here. Hope you enjoyed it so far. What kind of coffee? Just just a regular. Uh, really cheap stuff from Walgreens that made my own coffee pot. I'm not, I don't care about coffee really. Like it, uh, coffee has to be really good to impress me. And that's not me being a elitist. It's just, I don't like coffee very much. Um, so, and I also, I water it down a bunch. I don't know how people like st super strong coffee. Um, not my coffee's not my cup of tea. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. Cause is it a joke or is it a poor metaphor? Who knows? Sorry, I'm ripping out my notes from last game. Gonna start new notes. Let's get to it, shall we? The Cubs are six and four on a four-game skid. When you're winning, you call it a streak. When you're losing, you call it a skid. Like skid marks, like shit. Cause that's how they've been playing. Shitty. Uh Let's see who is on. Whoops, fudge. Okay, whoops. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I need to set the. Uh... And actually, you know what? Let's let's get fun with the the jerseys, shall we? Ooh, Ro ooh, road seventy nine. Let's do some road seventy nine jerseys, right? That'll be fun. And then. Kyle Hendricks, at least a good pitcher is, is or knock on wood, a good pitcher is up. Once again, Chris Bryant's on fire, and he's going in the one hole. And then we're also going to put Kay Schwarbs in the three hole, although he's been cold too. I don't know. They're saying they're cold. A lot. They might say, hey, are you sure you don't want to put blah, blah, blah here instead? Um which fudge uh yeah we might put in someone for Schwarber. it looks like he's starting to uh lose some of his oomph same thing with Baez although ba I mean you got to keep Baez in you can't just keep, take him out for multiple games we are going to put in we'll put in Albert Almora in for um for Schwarber. Yes, I know he obviously is not as good as uh as offensively and also I mean defensively he's better. Um and we'll put Almora in center field and Ian Haps in left field now. And Ian Happ will have bat here. Uh, or do we want? Uh, I know a lot of people might be bad that Javier Baez is batting where he's batting, but also he hasn't been doing good. So a lot of times to take some of the pressure off people, you put him a little bit uh, in, a, in a, a low stress or not as high up in the order and they don't feel as responsible. So that's what we're doing. So here we go. And Kyle Hendricks, 1-0 with a 1-3-5 ERA. If, they were, if there, there was a time for them to come back and start winning again, it would be now. Like I said, I've got coffee. Because I don't have, because I have very little Mountain Dew left. I drank almond Mountain Dew. 
I don't like the delay. There's too much of a delay. So I'm watching. Also, gotta make sure I can I can hear this out. Okay, that's good. Well, Jameson Talon. I can never remember if the elves are silent. If it's like Tyen or Talon. Regardless, he's the pitcher. Regardless of my pronunciation. Wow, 13 innings, zero runs scored. 11 strikeouts, four walks, 0.62 whip. He's looking like a real flipping good pitcher right now. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, the expectations have been there before for him in the past. A lot of people thought he was going to pitch very well. Um, but he certainly didn't have a great season last season, I don't think. I don't know if he was injured or just performed poorly. Once again, this is something I need to start keeping better track of. Chris Bryant's up. I need to switch teams to the computer running it all. There it is. And here we go. Chris Bryant. Jamison Pollen. Pitch one. Strike one. Aren't those jerseys flipping cool, by the way? That's one of my favorite Cubs jerseys are those. First pitch. Um, yeah. One of my favorite Cubs jerseys. I hate to admit it, and I'll talk about this when the Cubs play the, the Cardinals here in a couple games, but I hate how cool the Cardinals jerseys are from, like, the 80s. Like, the powder blue Cardinals jerseys, those are probably the coolest jerseys. Uh, yet I would never wear them because I hate the Cardinals. But, yeah, you gotta, when something looks good, something looks good. You can't look pretty good. So, two and one to Chris Bryant. Oof. He wanted that one. Chris Bryant, like I said, average is great. 357 so far, average. Uh, I, the power hasn't really been there. He's been... I think he's been getting some extra base hits, but none have left the field to my knowledge so far. Hanging in there. Uh, and good job as a leadoff hitter so far. He's got him throwing five pitches. Uh, a lot of the job of the leadoff hitter is to get everyone else to kind of see what the pitcher's featuring. So he's already got the uh, pitcher to throw six pitches. So regardless of the outcome from here on out, he did his job somewhat. He's showing what the pitcher's doing. So there you go, seven pitches. I'll take a seven pitch at bat uh, against the starter most of the time. I'll take an eight pitch at bat against the starter most of the time because he's throwing pitches. Uh, I'd love to, you know, if you can get a pitcher to throw, even if it was all outs, or nine. Say if you had him pitching nine pitches to every batter, that would be 27 pitches an inning. Uh, so he wouldn't be around very long. And he gets the ball four. So 10 pitches uh, and a ball and a walk. That's a fa fantastic at bat. Uh, I'd rather have a 10 pitch walk than a one pitch uh, a single. Easily, because you know why? Same outcome, but with 10 times more tiring to the pitcher. Uh, ten, literally tenfold. Um, and here's the Riz. Nobody beats the Riz. That's what I'm going to say. And then when I say something like that, um, that's when he would probably ground out to a double play. That's what he did last game. Good eye, ball one. God, has Rizzo really been with the, the Cubs for nine seasons? It's crazy, right? That's, I feel old. I feel like that doesn't sound right. Was he really around in 2012, 2013? He originally... Ooh, pop up, drop, 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 drop. Yeah! He was got from the Padres, I believe. Uh, and then... Or from, and from the Red Sox, then to the Padres, then to the Cubs. Uh, he is a... Ooh, they're probably going to go for two. Ooh, a bad throw. Bad! Oh! All right, so that'll put Rizzo on second. Should put Rizzo on second. It goes in if it goes into the uh, into out of play like that, you get an extra base. 
are the extra bases presumed. So he should be on second. We'll see what they do. Okay, he is on second. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's an out, but it's basically like a sacrifice, uh, essentially. Uh, which is okay. It's advanced a runner. Well, I didn't advance a runner, but... Count one and oh. Better than a double play. That's for sure. Uh, where was I? I was talking about something else, and I got lost when things started to happen. Yeah, just... Whoa, did I, I did not mean... I will say this. Didn't mean to put Albert Amora as the three in the three hole. That, I will say, is very stupid and an oversight of me. I definitely should have probably put half or hate. Literally almost any other hitter would be better in the three hole than Albert Amora Jr. That was dumb of me, and I apologize. But what's done is done. So there's one out, two one to Albert Amora Jr. He's in the three hole, which is where probably one of your best hitters should be. And he's been one of the statistically worst hitters of the last year. <laughs> Not just on the team, but of those I think who qualify. Uh, literally one of the worst hitters. Um, so there's that. I probably should have put Baez in there. Or, yeah, like I said, literally anyone else in the lineup is probably more suited for the three-hole than Albert Amora right now. Amora probably should be this, like, the eight guy. The seven or the eight guy. But he's he's hanging in there. About to be pitch 20. Uh, which, when you looked at uh, Jameson Tyens, Tyens, and it's a pop out. Um, nuts. But still, 20 pitches, two outs. Uh, so you know, with how good he has been as a starter in the presumably two starts, I think this is 13 innings. So he's averaging over six innings a start uh, and was doing very well. Wilson Contreras is up. He's batting very well, 448 on the season. So he's kind of on fire. Uh, in a good way, not literally, and, he's, and that he's uh, doing well. Um, one ball, one strike. One and one. Aye. He takes it high. That's one ball, kind of okay. Strike. Here we go. <clears throat> good eye, good eye. <clears throat> like I said, so here comes pitch 25. Even if they don't score anything here, I'll take 25 pitches from a very good pitcher for an enemy. Fudge. Well, there it is probably, unless it falls. Nope, that's going to be a out in the three. But still, 25 pitches? That means 100 pitches in four innings, which means they would probably take him out after that. Um... That would be perfectly great with me. I would be perfectly okay getting to the Pirates' bullpen in the fifth inning. And Kyle Hendricks, he's no schlub himself. Finished third in the Cy Young voting, I believe, in 2016. Almost had a sub-2 ERA. He was this close. I think, and also, I think if he would have finished with a sub-2 ERA, he might have won the Cy Young. Because Max Scherzer won it that year. And the thing that bugged me about that is Max Scherzer gave up more home runs than any other pitcher and he won the Cy Young. I have very mixed feelings about giving up more home runs than any other pitcher and winning the Cy Young. Um, whereas Hendricks is just always, almost always keeps your team in the game. He consistently is, you know, is pitching five to seven innings. Uh, and almost always giving up less than three or four runs. So I really like, I, you know, I love the consistency. And I love the control. He's got such good control. And he doesn't, I, I love that uh, people care so much about velocity, but he, he has shown that if you have good control like that, that you can strike people out. 
Your name's Greg Lovato. You can get people out. A lot of late break uh, to your ball, to the ball, late breaking stuff, or just really good control and you play with the corners. And if you can just have people not know if you're going to throw a curve or a fastball or a uh, changeup and just having your delivery all look the same regardless of what you're throwing. And you can be really good. And there's two down. Six pitches in. Two down for Kyle Hendricks. Ryan Reynolds coming up. Oh, oh, nice. Three outs, three up, three down for Kyle Hendricks. Seven pitch inning. I like that. Uh, up next, Hap, Baez, and Hayward. Like I said, I'm so sorry that I put out more as the third hitter. Leading off with the Cubs, the left fielder, number eight, Ian Hap. Sorry. We and Hap hits one into the gap. Hap to the gap. That's going to be at least two. Could be three, depending on how it gets recovered. Pretty well recovered. Just wise of Hap to not go three. You don't need to ever risk it at third. Third, if you get out at third, that's often bad base for you. Second base is still scoring position. But very nicely done, Ian Hap. David chugging along. Hey, well, the graphics on these games. Yeah. I agree. Uh, and I'm not even outputting, I think, at the best quality that I can. And that's part of what I'm doing is it looks real enough, and considering there's no real baseball going on. Oof. Jason Hayward makes contact here. Two two count to Jay Hay. Takes one outside and up. Nico Horner on deck, who's batting 300 this year, looking good. The payoff pitch for Jay Hay. Here it comes. Ooh, it looked like it was a strike to me and the K zone. Unless these glasses ain't a working. Or I just didn't see it well. Too, which is, uh, but I'll take that walk by gum. And up next is Nico Horner, batting eight. I believe he's playing second today instead of Jason Kipnis. Ball on the outside. On the outside. Ball outside. Almost on the outside corner. Takes a moment. 36 pitches in. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad uh, that they're making the starting pitcher at least throw a lot of pitches. 
I'll take that too. Two and zero on Nico. Because I really like would get would like to get to the bullpen if they can't if they can't score runs. Let's at least get rid of this starter who this season so far has not given up any earned runs in 13 innings uh, and seemed pretty good. That's ball three. Ball three. One would assume that he is not going to swing here. As the eight hitter, although the pitcher is up after this, still, when you're 3-0 and and you just, the 3-0 and and just walk the last guy, you don't swing. Yep, okay. Now you can't. Now it's allowed. Because if you pop up there, um, 3-0, and especially if it was the thing that might have been a ball, you look like a flipping dummy head. Uh, that might have been ball four, but it was still a real good pitch. I can't argue with swinging at that. And I understand that regardless that the pitcher is on deck. Ball four. Base is loaded for... The pitcher... Uh, Nancy just asked who won last game. The Pirates. But the base is loaded for the pitcher, Kyle Hendricks, the professor. Who actually, I think he has at least one RBI so far this season. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm, actually, I'm not wrong. He has at least one. I think he hit a single, a bloop single once. Uh, I agree but here we go. 0-1. Oh, that was outside. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, Kyle Hendricks, he's, he's, like I said, he's got a 500 average on the year. So, he, which means he's probably like two for four. Oh, that's bullshit. That was high and inside. It's a little unfair, I think, that they sometimes make the strike... Ironically, that pitchers are worse hitters, yet sometimes I feel like the strike zones get a little bigger for them just because the umps know that they don't really care or want to be up to bat. But Chris Bryant's up with the bases loaded. That was high. For sure that was high. Uh, Chris Bryant's up with the bases juice. Now would be a good time to get that first home run of the, the year here, Chris. If you're going to spell your name like that and uh, make $20 million, although you lost your grievance, I apologize. Uh... But now would be the time to hit a home run. Really, really make that make that money. Make the case for making that money. Ooh, one and two. The old Chris Bryant with the bases juiced. Here we go. Here it comes. Two and two to Chris Bryant. You guys for or against? Were you mad that? Uh, are you guys mad or were you for or against him losing his grievance? Nancy says they want they want the Cubs to lose the next five games so they'll be six six and nine. Oh! Strike three. That the base is loaded. Chris Bryant, but. But after only two innings, the pitcher is, for the Pirates has thrown 50 pitches, which is a lot. Uh, so hopefully they'll be getting to their bullpen. And Kyle Hendricks has only seven pitches so far, so if he can keep this going. Uh, but yes, losing it for the Cubs is definitely like if. I would have been rooting him, rooting for him to win the grievance if it, grievance if it was against anyone who weren't the Cubs. Uh, nope. But it was the Cubs, and I think in the future, uh, I think he was more so doing it because I think Bryant knew that he was going to lose it. Three and zero. You don't really see. Uh, look up the stats on how many times Kyle Hendricks has went three and zero. I bet it's less than ten. Literally, I bet it's less than ten. And the amount of times he's went 4-0, also known as a four-pitch walk, I bet even less. The Cubs are playing for draft picks. Yeah, maybe they can pick up some of the ones that the, the Astros don't get, you know, because of the cheating the World Series. But, uh, 
But yeah, uh, I have mixed feelings about Bryant being one day the service manipulation. They did have a legitimate thing where they were like, oh, people got injured, which is fair. Uh, I understand that there were injuries at the time. Ah, oh, crap. All right, deep, but not even to the warning track. Jason Hayward has it and brings it in. All right, and it's an out. But I think that was more for in the future where they'll say, you know, you got to pay. You should do some sort of uh, proportionally pay people instead of the extra year of service time. I do like the things that... Um, I really like what the how the White Sox have been running their, their organization lately. Um, two of their outfielders, before they even have given them uh, Eli Jimenez, they literally, before he played a game at the major league level, they signed him for like a six or seven year thing worth like tens of millions of dollars. Um, which will, I think, work out where for both both sides because they thought he was who he was with the Cubs. He might hit he could hit fifty home well, runs gonna hit fifty home runs this year because there's not gonna be that many games. Uh, there's not gonna be 160 games if there is a season. But he's uh, has a lot of potential the same thing with Luis Robert uh, with the White Sox. They just signed him to like this a similar deal um, because they think he's gonna be really good. And he hasn't even played they bought out his arbitration now years and, and it gets them a lot of goodwill. Uh, from from players and and, uh, and also might if they turn into the player they think they're they're going to be they're saving tens of millions of dollars it's one of those things where it works out for everybody because the the players are getting paid before they even have to worry about anything oh and that just kind of sloppily goes in between the shortstop and the third baseman uh, but he went with the pitch can't argue with that Blanco was the player of the game last game because he hit two home runs. That's kind of about the opposite type of a hit, where it's just kind of an opposite field kind of hit. Um, but yeah, I like how the uh, how the White Sox have been running their club lately. Those are gonna they're gonna have two outfielders for the next five or six years that are both could be guys that hit. Luis Roberts could go 30-30, and Jimenez can hit 50 home runs. So you know, Luis Roberts can yeah could be a top. Here we go. Can they turn two? They should. One and a two. Nicely done, Cubs. So I might call drunk Nick Butler tonight. I might call Trent Straczynski. Should I even let Trent know? Should I just call Trent on the fly? And see what happens. Is that more fun? Anthony or is it exploit exploitative? Ex, 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 ex. Would I be exploiting Trent if I just called them with the phone on and said, "Hey, you're on the show"? What would he think? You know, I don't know. Oh wow! Anthony Rizzo swings the first pitch, almost gets it by, but nothing. I would have been content with more not swinging. The, he's been walking so many batters. Wow, the Cubs went from 6-0 and to now a game and a half back. Cincinnati leads. I wouldn't have guessed that. I hadn't seen the the records yet. The Cincinnati's got a real good starting rotation, arguably one of the best around uh, right now. I mean, uh, any one of their starting pitchers could be a top uh, top pitcher. 1-0. You know, if they pitch to their ceilings. Um, and they had strengthened their their offense a little bit. They got Mike Moustakis. They 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 got more outfielders than they needed, especially because they had Nick Senzel, which they were all for. Uh, he was a second baseman. He was an infielder who they basically were like, no, you're going to be our center fielder. And they said, okay. And he played center field, and he was a rookie year. Uh, he did okay, not amazing, but it was his rookie year, and he's still young. But then they got multiple outfielders, and it was kind of confusing why they did that. Um, the catcher, number forty. Considering, because uh, they got uh, Shogo Akiyama, I believe is his name, and then they got um, 
I can't think of who else. There's another outfielder that's, that's probably going to be an everyday player. Wilson Contreras is up now. Ooh, rips it down the line, but foul. I don't like how many, the, the, how few pitches they are making him pitch this inning. Outside, that's the ball. I feel like it's almost the game correcting itself, where they're like, oh, we, he threw way too many pitches. Uh, or maybe he's just settling down. I don't know. One and two. I thought that was strike three for a second, but it's one and two. I should probably ask him so he picks up. I think Trent will pick up. Now that's almost the, the question is, is like, how many of my friends won't answer the call? All right, one and two. At least he's making him throw some pitches here. I could show how much of a lonely person I really, really am is by Ball seeing three. how many friends I can call before somebody answers. That could get real depressing real quick. Once you call about over three or four people, and nobody answers. Man, that get that off strike three. Come on, come on, Wilson. I'm not happy about that, and I have to pee again. I almost feel like drinking, but I was so hungover earlier, or whenever it was. Was it yesterday? I don't even know. Was it yesterday? Or did I slept a bunch? I can't remember. We'll say, we'll say that's what happened. Oh. Drunk enough where I don't remember. If that tells you anything. Count one and oh. All right. Kyle Hendricks, the professor, back on the mound. Now I can do this. The professor! It's very Carnan. It's Gandalf. Mm. Mm, professor. I Strike two. Mm, school is in session. That's, yep. Oh! Oof! Ah, oh, poop. That was... Okay, ow! Oh. I'm not understanding the physics of the game as well as I thought. I thought that was going to fall into the outfield, and it was... Nope, just right to the first base. All right, now the pitcher's up. So, someone with as good as control as Hendricks, let's hope he just throws strikes and plays with the corners. But just throw strikes here, Kyle. Yep, that ball went out. That wasn't even a, a challenging pitch for, a, for someone who wasn't the pitcher. Just throw strikes, Hendricks! I mean, he did there, but like, come on, man. It's the pitcher. There we go, good. Now make this one a strike two, and just like, assume that if he makes contact, it won't be good contact. There, great, that's fine. Fantastic. All right, now Kevin Newman's up. Oh. No man. Cut my chips. Let's go ahead. Yeah, baby. I hear ya. I bought some chips that were very inexpensive today at Walgreens. Sometimes you buy chips just because they're less than two dollars. Although they were like sour cream chips. Then they sounded good, but they were priced even better. Uh, and they were all out of sweet chili Doritos or spicy sweet, sweet spicy Doritos. Yeah, I have multiple friends. Wow, Roxy. Ooh. Ooh. Got him 0-2. And, and so far, Kyle's being fairly efficient with his pitches, which is great. Inside, ball one. Uh, kind of the antithesis of the other pitcher, Jameson Kyle. I can't pronounce his last name, so I just try not to. Oof. Ooh. Speaking of fluid movements, I have to pee again. All right, should be the end of the inning. And it is. Ian Happ, Javier Baez, Jason Hayward coming up. 
all of them batting less than 280 on the season. Javier Baez is due to get super hot, though. Uh, not sexually. Leading off with the Cubs. Although, the left field, number if you, he, I don't yeah. know if he's sexy. I have no huh. idea. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know who's sexy. I know people find Chris Bryant has really nice eyes. I think they, that's what is, is known. I can't argue with that. He makes the he consistently makes the dream team. Isn't that what they call it? The sexiest players in baseball. He's the, on the third base the third baseman. Rizzo also. Rizzo's got a strong uh, strong facial structure, strong jaw. I'm afraid. I my fear with Rizzo is that he stands so much on the plate is that he's gonna get hit in the face sometime, and I'm really scared that that would happen. Because he's such a good hitter and such a solid hitter, and I'm just scared that, like, baseball is dangerous. Uh, people don't realize that ball goes real fast, oh, that's and place. that if you get hit with a fastball, that you can get hurt. like Willie Calhoun got hit in the face in spring training, and they had to put a, a freaking uh, metal plate in his jaw. Oh, boy, All right, awesome. nicely done. Baez doesn't take many uh, walks, especially, I don't know if that was four walk force, four homophobic. How was it homophobic? To talk about, I'm talking about them being good looking. I'm saying, and I will admit when, I mean, I see it, I get it with Chris Bryant. I get it. He's got nice eyes. I said he got nice eyes. Oh, Here we go. Jason Hayward's up with one out, two men on. No, I am not playing less. I am. Jason Hayward hits it, and it's just a pop fly. I, what I do, Wes, is I I uh, set up the lineup for the Cubs, and that's all I do as far as manipulating what's happening. So I'll set the, the batting order and who's playing, and sometimes I'll change it based on who the stamina stuff, and, and also I don't like how they set the batting order a lot of times. Um, All one, no strike. The example of that is I think the default batting order they had was had Anthony Rizzo batting six, which I don't think Anthony Rizzo, I can't think of a time he's ever been batting six uh, his entire career really with the Cubs. Maybe early on, but he's usually one, I would say he's one going, through four going, has been the majority going. of the time. Hey. And a steal, and he's there. Baez, El Mago swipes that base. Ah, uh, almost with ease. I mean, he slid, but he could have done that standing up. All right, 2-1 and Nico Horner. Like I said, we got 72 pitches into the fourth. That's good. I'm, I'm happy that that pitch count is getting that high. Once uh, we can get it to 80 here. Okay, that's going to be the third out. I'm gonna pee really quick. I'll be right back. I'm. I apologize. I'll leave my thing there. I'll leave my glasses. Glasses there. And I'll be right back. Leading up, four up pirate. No left fielder. At a Fraser. I missed a single. Did I miss a single? Oh my goodness. Or yeah, I guess that's that'll be that qualifies as a single. But 
Does everyone like this format okay of me doing more, just kind of interacting with the people in the comments and still keeping it more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, keeping it more one and one. regular. Um, I feel like I posted on Reddit the, the ones that I've been twitching. And it's been getting way more upvotes than the ones I was doing on YouTube. Where on the YouTube ones, I would get a little drunk and call my friends. And the, and we very much, the game would uh, kind of be on the back burner when I was talking to my friends. And we would just talk about stuff. And the ones I did on Twitch, I literally, I called Nick Butler during one of the games. And we didn't talk very long. I feel like I need to find the balance between those two. By the way, it's looking like trouble right now for Kyle as there is our two men, two men on. Nobody out. Hopefully he can work his way around this. Be real nice to get a triple play here. The odds of that happening are highly unlikely. Ooh, nice pitch. Also, could have been a terrible pitch. If he would have, if he would have tore into that, that could have been trouble. 0-2, uh, though, to Josh Bell. Which is great. Oh, and two is fantastic because you basically, as a pitcher, can do whatever you want to do. Uh, you can bury it. You can go with a strike. Oh, see that? That's just as easily could have been called a strike. Um, one and two is still okay too. It's a, there's reasons why statistically, uh, if you look at the numbers of hitters counts versus pitchers counts, the statistics are pretty crazy on the out, the, out, the likely outcome. Uh. Oh! Ah! Uh, uh, is it two? He gets two! Did he? No, did he? He, he went like that. But was he saying because he caught it or because he also got the guy out of second? I don't know. Oh! They only got the. Can you blame me for thinking? The, the umpire took a sweet ass time in calling the first out and didn't care to say if the force. At second was fair or safe. He just said, "Yeah, he caught it." Right? He he just called the first one, and no one called the se no one called the play at second. Okay, that's okay though. That was a very hard hit ball, so I'm I'm okay with that. Oh, dizzy! Oh wow! Turns two. That's out of the inning. I didn't know if he stepped on, that's another time where I didn't know if he stepped on first and got the force out and was going to make him go for the tag, but apparently he just throws the second for the force out, throws the first. Uh, so yeah, Rizzo to, I don't know if it was Baez, and then back to Rizzo, turns to what was looking like a lot of trouble for Kyle Hendricks, turns into uh, nothing. Oh, it's Heidi Watney. I never can hear what she's saying because I've turned off the commentary. So I pretend. Well, Heidi, that's very insightful of you. How are things going for you down there? <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it's been great having you, Heidi. Uh, I'm sure the game will come back to you again at some point, and I'll pretend like I can hear what you're saying. You too, Heidi. You too. We go for the Cubs. The pitcher, Kyle. What is that? Oh, it's the fifth inning. So Kyle Hendricks is up again. His average has went down from 500 to, I don't know what, probably around 2 to 3 something. Oh, oh. I thought he was going to bloop one there. A bloopity boop. Oh, ho, ho. not bad for a pitcher, but still an out. Uh, Chris Bryant, back to the top of the order. I'm going to keep saying it until it happens. Chris Bryant is due to hit a home run. I fail to believe that your average keeps being this high and you keep making as solid contact as you are and you're not hitting home runs. And yeah, in last game, last three games, he's had two doubles, so he's hitting for decent power and or to the gaps. It's just a matter of time before you don't start hitting some home runs. Good eye, Chris. Good eye.
Ooh, low. Almost a pass ball or a wild pitch. But it wouldn't matter since there's nobody on base. 2-2 two -two count, one out. Chris Bryant, sometimes I go into my very overly dumb baseball voice. Oof. That up, uh, oh, is he gonna get there? Yes! They play the shift on Chris, and uh, Chris says, hey, maybe don't play the shift on me, and you would have gotten to that ball first baseman. And up next is Rizzo, old Anthony. Anthony takes one right down the pipe for strike one, but I like that we're getting into the 80-some pitches for the in the, uh, in the fifth inning. He must have had some real low pitch count, uh, real low pitch counts in one or two innings because a couple of other innings were very, very high pitch count innings. I don't know, Stephen Ralt, is that who's on deck? I don't know. That's me guessing from what I can see. I think that's that sounds like a pitcher that is in this game, or that is a pitcher in this game. A pitcher that exists is something like that, if memory serves correct. Down the line, they're still playing the shift. Is it gonna drop? Ooh. Whew. The outfield has them shifted a little bit where that might, I think, uh, where theoretically that, if they would have been in a normal position. Oh, wow, two, ooh. Very hard hit right up the middle, but turned into a double play, unfortunately. Let's call Trent Straczynski right now. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's Heidi Watney again. Hi, Heidi, we did just speak with Heidi recently. So very strange that we would be feeling the need to talking, feel the need to talking, feel the need to talk to her again so recently. Yeah, Rizzo's been hitting into a lot of double plays. On the converse of that, you're saying you could say, well, he's making contact. Trent Straczynski, so far, not answering his phone. We'll just leave a message. Hey, Trent Straczynski, this is Spencer Laux with the Cubs Fantasy Stream. Was calling you to see if you'd like to be on our Twitch. Oh, come on, Rizzo. I thought Rizzo was going to have that. He's going for two. Can Jason Hayward get him out on second? Oh, it's close, but he's safe. Anyway, Trent, was calling to see if you wanted to be on the show. I understand it was out of nowhere. I'm on Twitch, Cubs Fantasy Stream. Check it out. You give me a call back if you want to. It's okay if not. I might call someone else. Who knows? But. Well, poop. For so many reasons. Well, it's called Nick Butler, maybe, I guess. Last time I called Butler, he was a little drunk. I think I was also. Oh, that's cold. This could turn into a... People are going to be like, gosh, how many people... I mean, it's late. It's 10.59, but most of my friends... Ooh! Nice diving play! That's a thing that I shouldn't have almost missed even, but... Wow, nice catch by Albert Amora Jr. Making up for me putting him in the three hole, saying I shouldn't be in the three hole, but I can still make some very good plays. <laughs> Over two on people who want to talk to Spencer. Hi, Nick! Spencer here with Cubs Fantasy Stream on Twitch. Thought I'd give you a call. See if you wanted to be on. Second person you that hasn't answered. Have a good one. Bye. Oh man, this is embarrassing. 
This is a fun one, because I, I don't even think. We'll see. Because I haven't even talked. The other two people have either been on the show or I've talked to them about being on the show. Kyle Dre, I'm just calling out of the blue. So I, I don't expect him to answer. But he's an avid Cubs fan. Strike two on uh, James Centalian. Strike three for me calling people that don't want to talk to me, apparently. Oh! Ah! My... Ah! 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 Boy. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? We'll see. You're gonna hear some overlap, and I apologize. I just wanna make sure. That's bullshit. That's just it. My crew doesn't have shit to do. Like, everyone... That ball is crap. Everyone I called... Well, Kyle Dre does have a job. But I'm pretty sure Nick Butler just got let go. Or not let go. I think he's, you know, laid off. Oh, strike three! Kyle Henderson's... Yeah, sorry. I'm not paying attention. I'm, I'm too hyper-focused on no one wanting to talk to me on the phone. But nice. Nice. A very nice. That's where I'm just... Uh, that's why people don't want to talk to me, is because I did a, a very nice bad board impersonation. But, uh... Yes, yeah, Straczynski, I don't think, has a job right now. Which is fine. A lot of people are not working right now. And Butler was let go. Which, once again, almost who, is, who isn't getting let go? And then, Kyle Dre, I think, is still probably having to work. Uh, he's a cook. They're still having it. They're still making people cook in a lot of places. Uh, three. They say third time's a charm. That's not always true. It's not always true. Oh! It's pretty solid content. Ah, oh, warning track. Is that Amora too? Yeah, it was. Gosh, that would have been a cool story for him because he definitely shouldn't be in the three hole. And he made a great diving play earlier. So if he also would have hit a home run, that would have been fantastic and I would have felt very good for him. But now Wilson Contreras is up. He's had two home runs in the last, I think it said six games. I don't know. Something like that. I just missed it. But we're over the 90 pitch mark for the Pirates starter, which is good. It'd be great. Uh, we could assume that if, if, if we can get him over 100 pitches this inning that they w uh, would maybe be going to the bullpen after this. Um, although not necessarily since they did just have him be the last hitter. Ball four. Ball four. Although now with a man on first, uh, I think if you take him out of the game, it's highly dependent on what happens after this next hitter. Uh, I think if, the, if if he walks him or if a hit happens right here with Ian Happ, they're going to yank the starter. And not in the fun way that people like to get yanked, in the bad way where pitchers get angry. And, uh, yeah. Nope, that's a ball. That's a ball. Ball one, no strike. The bullpen is up. And it, in names that I don't know, except for Feliz is the last name of one. Sometime I'll figure out a better... But I still need to figure out where the best place to put the, the camera is. I know the bottom right hand is bad because you can't see the stats. And uh, I feel like I did another... I think I did a... Did I do somewhere else that wasn't working great either? I don't know. 3 and 0 oh. Because some control is starting to happen here. I would assume 
that you do not have him swing here. Uh, you make him throw you a strike. That was borderline. I wouldn't say. Very, very few pitcher, hitters would I give the green light there. Especially with Javier Baez on deck. There you go. Ball for it. We might be seeing him getting taken out of the game here. Now batting. The shortstop. Javier Baez. Well, here goes Javi. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, how the... What do you mean by weight and averages? You mean for like how... The, I mean, they have stats for everyone's... The way they... Sta they have like a bunch of stats for, for their hitting. Not, not only for contact, but also power. But also for plate discipline, for vision. Um, there might be one or two other things for how they rate you as a... As a purely as a hitter. Uh, but and not only that, but against right-handed and left-handed for contact and power. Um, yeah, there's discipline, there's vision. I can't remember what else there is. Ooh, Javi hits it! This could break the tie! They're sending him home! The play at, I would say at the plate, but it's such a bad throw that it's not at the plate at all. Javier oh, Baez man. knocks in the first oh, run in the sixth Thank inning you. and gets this game out of being scoreless. Ha ha! That's the first highlight I've written down of this game. Oh! And they're taking out the starter, it looks like, and bringing in the bullpen. About one hit or two late, you would say. Uh, but now the Cubs got something going. Scored a run. This is the most optimistic I've been in a while for the Cubs. Uh, Your attention, please. Now Nick Birdie is up now. I agree, yay. Yay indeed, Wes. Yay indeed. Nick Birdie, he's looking pretty good uh, so far. That's yeah, pretty good ratios. It looked like he might have had reverse uh, splits for pitching. I could be wrong, but it looked like left-handed batters well, are actually doing way worse. And it's probably a small sample size. Uh, and I'm not sure if the, if the rule exists in this game where when you bring in... The new rule for the MLB is is that you have to face three batters when you bring in a new uh, hitter. Ooh, and it gets up there. Are they going to send them? They're sending them. Could be a play at the plate. Nope. Once again, I think it's a, just a bad throw. And so the runner scores. Uh, but I think you have to... And I don't know what happens if, the, if a runner scores, but uh, I think you have to face three hitters um, once you sub pitchers in. Unless I think that if the inning ends before then, so like if they come, if a pitcher comes in with two outs and then they get that out, <clears throat> you might not have to bring them back out. Um, but like if a uh, if a pitcher starts an inning. I think they have to see three batters, regardless of what happens. Um, like I said, I think there's weird, uh, there's weird other, or unless they get injured. Henry looks better in blue than red. That's fair. Are they gonna send him? No, that kind of surprise. Oh, that way they would have gotten there. He's got a 71 on speed. I'm a little surprised. It wasn't necessarily no, deep. But I maybe would have been aggressive there, especially with Kyle Hendricks on the, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it was a bad throw. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. But especially with your pitcher who is the, you know, with two outs and your pitcher is the person on deck, I think you almost always send the person there. I don't know who's on third, but they had a 71 on speed. Probably would have sent him there. Um, yeah. I, there's very little reason not to. And since the throw was so bad. Uh, also, that's something where you kind of fake it and see where the throw... I mean, a lot of times... Uh, where the person on third will kind of fake going. Or they'll go a couple steps and see how the throw goes. Probably should have uh, scored there. Strike three. Well, I mean, I'm still happy. Uh, the Cubs scored two runs. I mean, Hendricks is staying in the game. In the sixth. 
Hello, Newman. I've done that so many times. This is already the second series with the Pirates, too. But here we go. Kyle Hendricks against Kevin Newman. Drop off. Counts one and oh. All right, hits it to center, and now Moore is under it. Quick out. That's what I like to say. Now back, left fielder, Adam Fraser. Oh, wow, Rizzo. Oh. That looked really bad for so many reasons. Thankfully, it's out. Ryan Reynolds, two outs, quick two outs. And a grounder to shortstop, and he's out. What a quick inning for Kyle Hendricks. That's what I like to see. One, two, three coming up. Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, and Albert Almora Jr. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I know, I know it was stupid to have Albert Almora Jr. The first base. Yeah, I, I don't know what the F just happened either. With the, I'm, I'm assuming you're referring to the first base thing. I, it resulted in an out, so that's the most important part. Uh, but everything else is very confusing. Especially because he just kind of... I don't like how players will act like there isn't urgency in, in their okay. actions sometimes. Because he looked... Anthony Rizzo looked very... Uh, not hurried. I mean, it's good to be in control, but he was just like slowly underhanding the ball. Whoa, that's down. All right, Chris Bryant, like I said, still doesn't have a home run. But it would be nice if he had one here. I'd really like some. <laughs> Strikeouts aren't great. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. The first baseman, number 40. I don't like that one bit. Anthony. I don't like that one bit. Okay, up next, Anthony Rizzo. The benefit of Rizzo being up with no one on base is that he can't hit into a double play. Because he's been doing that a lot. Strike one. Uh, the cut. I'd really like it if the Cubs could get some insurance here. Looked a little in, inside and or high, but apparently it was on the cusp of the strike zone of both. And was there. Ooh, strike three. Well, Rizzo and Bryant both not looking great. So maybe now Almora that, will hit a home run. The if the two best Almora. hitters on the team Almora. looked really bad, maybe it's one of those weird bizarro worlds this inning where Al Almora will hit a 500-foot home run or something. Or also strike out. Who knows? Who knows what could happen? Rizzo stance? I love Rizzo. Rizzo's great. Uh, he's a, he's a, like I said, especially for the money. He's getting paid like maybe less than, ugh, pop out. Uh, I don't think he's even, and maybe in this year or the next year is different, but he's been making less than $10 million a year, I think. To be an all-star who has a very high on base percentage and hits 30 home runs and plays gold glove caliber defense, or not even caliber, gets the, got the gold glove last year. Uh, people like him in the clubhouse. He's a leader. Still young, and he's 30, so the back problems might start getting worse or be, continually being an issue. But if you look at his numbers, the last five years, 
they're almost identical every year. He keeps hitting like 30 to 32 home runs and batting. Oh boy, that's a car. An infield hit. That's. I didn't know Bell had that decent of speed, but apparently he does. Uh, kudos to Bell for running it out. It was very close play. Oh well, close enough. In slow mo, it looks less close. Uh, yeah, hard to get mad at anyone there. That was just a very poorly hit ball that just happened to to get in the right spot and was hard hard to field it quickly because. But now Colin Moran's up. We'll see how he decides to proceed here. Oh, pass ball. Oh my god, he's not going? Okay. It's a wild pitch or a pass ball. Wild, wild pitch or a pass ball. Uh, that's a... I don't know. He just ran out an infield single and didn't steal, and the ball went all the way to the back. Uh, weird. It's a very weird. Very weird to me. Wow, it's quick. Okay. I was like, is that fair? Uh... Dove a little early on that one, Chris. He dove a little early. I mean, he could have taken one more half step and then dove and then got it. Uh, I haven't been a fan of either. Yeah, I mean, he gave up two hits, but I would say neither one of those hits have really been his fault. Uh, I'd still keep him here. Well, Gregory Polanco has a double and a single. He's been super hot. He had two home runs yesterday. You can tell in the tone of my voice that I'm really upset that he's the one up right now. He's literally the person uh, who I would want up least right now with how hot the, of a bat he's been swinging the last uh, the last five to ten at-bats we've seen out of him. He's been very much on the ball, quite literally. He's been on the ball with his bat, and then the ball goes very far. Uh, so, yeah. That's a strike. Should have been a strike. Uh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to not have strikes called against people. It's especially frustrating to not have strikes called against people uh, that are hitting well. Because you don't want to give someone who's on fire four strikes. There it is. 3-2 now. Uh, yeah, I don't know what... Let's see what happens here. He's hanging in there. A battle brewing between Hendricks and uh, Gregory Polanco. Ball four. They might take Hendricks out here. It would be sad if they did because he's pitched a really good game. So hasn't given up any runs technically. Force at any base. All right, they're keeping him in. That's good. Uh, Kramer. Kevin Kramer. Well, at least the 7, 8, 9 batters are coming up, so that's something. Force at any base. So he's going to be going for uh, ground balls here. You, you, I guess, I don't know if the infield's going to be in, but you, I guess you would forfeit uh, a run to turn a double play. Um, at the ball. I mean, Hendricks is what? Two people today, maybe three. That's already a lot for him. Uh, his control is usually not an issue. But we'll see here. What I mean? Oh, one and zero, not great. Let's hopefully he can get a ground ball. Oof. All right, 
Ah, uh, that's going to be far enough to score a run, probably. I mean, that's, yeah, for sure. Uh, and gets a guy to third, maybe? Are they going for it? Oof, that was... That was close. Well, at least the double play set up still. They almost, almost got him at third. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Bell should have scored earlier, or well, I guess not scored earlier. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take him out. I would not take taking him out. I think if you were going to leave him in, if, if, I don't know. You gave up a pop fly. Both of those hits were weak hits, and he walked somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. I think he still now, deserved to Chicago. throw to one more batter. Number 30. Especially Alex. you got the 8-9 coming up. No. I mean, Alec Mills has been fantastic. He's pitched 8.1 innings, but also he's pitched a bunch. Um, and multiple innings when he's been pitching. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly if you totally would have pulled. I would. Okay. I understand pulling him more when they uh, when they would have than than. I wouldn't have pulled him after that. Not with the eight batter up and then with the nine on deck with the pitcher on deck. Um, I mean, I'm assuming they'll have a pinch hitter just because they also uh, have already taken out their uh, starter, but still. I wouldn't have taken them out where they did take them out. Let's see if anyone's text messaged me that's going for the bunt. Well, it's a tie game. The sacrifice bunt works. Now that is number 57. Your attention, please. Been sitting for the pilot. Number 36. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, old Nancy gave me an old taxi Rooney. Yeah, I wondered, Nancy, how you were, uh... <laughs> All right, thanks for coming, Wes. But it's tied now. You know, you know, now, are excited to see what's going to happen in the 8th and 9th inning? I mean, I'll put it up on YouTube, but still. Yeah, Nancy, I wasn't sure... Uh... If you're watching on your phone or what. Because I can give you a call here at some time. If you're listening. All right. Michael, please. There's one pitch and it gets popped up. Ian Happ's up now. Ah, East Coast. That's fair. Well, thanks for joining us. Strike one to Ian Happ. Ian Happ very stupidly went for uh, a double last time, I believe. And it didn't work out. That's the one for two. Uh, and then in parentheses it says single, or well, single. And then stupidly parentheses went for a double and it didn't work out. Like two. Mm. Not loving this. Not loving uh, the fact that if they go in order here, that it'll be seven, eight, nine in the ninth. 
<sighs> so can really use a home run. Can really use that. The bat, number nine. Short bat. Javier Valle. All right. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if he had the ability to, to talk in, or if it would get in the way of, of streaming at the same time. Because I could give you a call hey. if you wanted me to. But, like I said, it'd be if it got in the way... I, ideally, I want to be able to talk to someone that can get on the Twitch stream and, do, and be able to talk. Although Nick, last night, wasn't... <laughs> Wasn't able to, couldn't figure it out while he was. Uh, oh, come on! That was not a strike. Javier Baez doesn't need help swinging at pitches that aren't strikes. Or help. This game has been going quickly, I feel like. All right, that's a base hit. Presumably, they're going to steal with Javier Baez on uh, here. I know I would with two outs uh, and your eight hitter up. I think you really want to try and get a guy uh, in scoring position here. Uh, yeah, I think you want to get a guy in scoring position here. Not necessarily a bad idea to, to let it... Uh, a crank into it I made the weirdest noise there I'm sorry but I'm happy uh, two run homer Jason Hayward is second of the year wow fantastic I guess they didn't you don't need to steal uh, when the person hits a home run especially fantastic fantastic two run lead I'm happy about that. Very happy about that. Jason Hayward just put a charge into it. I'm going to keep that. That's going to be a highlight. That's going to make my highlight reel. You bet your bananas. Is that my saying now? You bet your bananas on that one. Was they eight inning? The batter number two. Second base. Nico. Bet Horner. your bananas. Nico Horner's on there. Okay. Woo! Ah. Virtual baseball shouldn't make me feel that bad. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. These changes for the time. Now pitching and batting in the eighth. Number 56, Kyle. All right, Kyle Ryan's up. Right. Now playing second and batting nine. Number 13, David. His parents Bowman. said, you know what? Our last name is a real common name. Let's make the first one just as common. Let's name him Kyle. I 
feel like if, if your last name was that generic, you owe it to your offspring to name them something more fun. You know? Like Whitaker. Whitaker Ryan. I know Whitaker's more of a last name, but Whitaker Ryan sounds cool, right? Whitaker Ryan. Ranger. I was almost going to say Texas Ranger. Oh, Whitaker Ryan, Elven Ranger. Ooh, drops off. Two and two. Is everyone enjoying this? I don't know how many people are, are on right now. I should be. I don't know how to look at it. I'm a big dumb idiot. But is everyone, uh, you feel free to say hello if you want to. If you're watching, if you're enjoying it, if you want me to do something different, if you think my face is stupid, that's fine. Pop up to the first baseman. Anthony Rizzo settles under it. Much like people in their late 20s and early 30s, Rizzo settles. The left fielder, Adam Rager. What's MM? What's MM? Oh, Majora's Mask. No, the game's almost over. It's okay if you're doing Majora's Mess. Majora's Mess. Although I'm probably going to do at least one more. I need to catch up to uh, to be able to do tomorrow to stream it when it needed, when it was supposed to be streamed. Pop-up is out. Uh, the, Car the Cubs Cardinals starts tomorrow. 120. So be here for when it really would have started. I'm going to try and, and live stream it. Cubs Cardinals. I might try and get a hold of my friend Trent if he's available. Although he might be at work because he's working. Uh, or one of my cousins, maybe. My cousins are big Cardinals fans. Maybe even my uncle. He's a big Cardinals fan. I know a decent amount of Cardinals fans that I could call. So, uh, another pop-up. Settled under. I keep... I, 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 I go to the, the vocab I, I go to the vocabulary bank and I one time and I start saying the same word over and over it's settled a bunch of times that inning but Bodie Bryant and Rizzo uh, coming up so Bodie Your is filling in or pinch pilot. hitting filling in is pinch hitting for Kyle Ryan Richard. Richard Rodriguez has an ERA of 1620 oh he's only pitched 1.2 innings which is still really bad one would assume his ERA is going to go down a little after this inning, but all who knows? If he pitches poorly, it could go up. David Bodie's in as the pinch hitter. 227, but I feel like uh, he's batting 227 currently, but I feel like most of his hits have been big hits. Uh, they've come at times that when they've been needed. I know he's, he's had a, maybe at least one home run and maybe a couple doubles that have uh, like I said, Ooh, coming important times. Kind of grounds out to third. I'm not sure who uh, is in the bullpen for the Cubs right now. I'm assuming Rowan Wick. That's the other thing I might change is I might make the Cubs closers. Uh, I might make the Cubs closer Rowan Wick. I know Craig Kimbrell is who it's supposed to be in reality. But also, he's, uh, Craig Kimball's messed up. Also, I'm not sure if that's who the they, the, the default uh, closer is. Dan Winkler, maybe? Well, I don't even know who Dan Winkler is. But for some reason, they're listed as the closer. Uh, so Chris Bryant's up. He's 0-2. Erlen, I'm guessing that's Robbie Erlen, is in the bullpen. Because uh, he's the only Erlen I can think of. But that might be wrong, because I think that he might be from the... Phillies, so I don't know. I don't know what Erlen is. One and two. But Richard Rodriguez is pitching uh, to Chris Bryant. Not to be confused with Robert Rodriguez of El Mariachi fame. Well, Bryant strikes out. The first base number and here comes Anthony. Anthony Rizzo. All right. Some uh, insurance would be good here. A nice, a nice towering home run 
would be pretty okay by me. Pretty okay by me. it down the line, but foul. Straighten that baby out, we might add a home run. Instead of strikeouts. Well, Richard Rodriguez looked pretty good there. Gave up, uh, gave up, didn't give anything up. He gave up a ground ball that was an out, and then struck out the next two batters. So, he gave up a little, uh, a little bit of weak contact. Yeah, here's Dan Winkler. Number 43. Who is 4 for 4 on saved opportunities this year. Like I said, I don't know who he is. If anyone knows who Dan Winkler is, let me know. Any Cubs fans who are watching, let me know. A good pitch. Outside cutter. Moving 90 miles per hour. The irony is, my glasses work good for the computer and my seat, but like the distance for the television that I'm watching the stream on, that I'm streaming from, is maybe worse. Yeah, like I see better. I mean, I'll finish, maybe, with them on, but. Heck, no. Okay. Two and one. Unless he gets a hit, maybe I'll put him back on. Two and two. A pop up. Looks like Anthony Rizzo is under it. And he has it. Out number one. Easy peasy. Lemons get squeezy. All right, Colin Moran. That's a ball. Or Colin Moran is how they pronounced it. I thought it was Moran. He's a really Moran. He's a real Moran. This one. Two and zero, oh, Dan Winkler. All right, Dan Winkler, throw strikes when you're up by two. With no one on, throw strikes. You don't want to put the tying run to the plate by and you don't by walking the uh, guy. Ball three. Oh god, who's on deck? Oh, Gregory Polanco's on deck. Oh great, the guy that's been super hot the last two games is on deck. So yeah, don't walk this person to get to the person... Oh my god. Well, I'm not happy about this. And also Gregory Polanco is 2 for 2 today. The double he maybe walked earlier, or, or did he... Did he maybe have the, uh, a sacrifice fly in there? That might have been it. I might have. I mean, he's, yeah. he's done. He's done good offense. The both the last two games. There's a strike. All right. A breaking ball right down the middle on the lower uh, third of the plate. Fastball in a prob in a problematic area for if you're consistently going to put it there it would be not great. I mean, it could have been a problem. Could have been problematic. Oh, strike three, nicely done. Whew. I can't believe he swung at that one. Uh, wow, good, 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 good. good. Number He's upset with himself, and I'm upset with himself for him. That makes any sense. Either, which it doesn't. All right, Kevin Kramer, come on. Let's get Kevin Kramer out of here. Let's get this streak done. All right, strike one. Oh, one's the count. Oh, one's the count. Kevin Kramer's 0 for 2 with the sacrifice fly RBI. Okay, he was the one who had the sack fly earlier. I don't know what, what's going on. Cheat codes. 
okay, let's see. Crack's here. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, what a one. Let's see here if Dan Winkler can finish him off here to help the Cubs go to seven and four. Or seven and three as it's or no, seven and four they lost last game. I forget I already recorded the game. And I'm gonna record at least one more here, a stream at least one more here. because uh, I wanna get caught up with the current actual date by date. Ah wow, they cut that could have went either way. I'd like to get caught up with the current date. I'd want to see the Cubs Cardinals, uh, you know, the big rivalry starts tomorrow. So I'd really like to live broadcast that as it was supposed to be broadcast. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Well, one run might score. Yep. One run scores. Well, now the tying run is on second. The go ahead walk off run would be coming now to the plate. Hector. Hector. This is not, this doesn't, it's not happy. I'm not happy. for two with a sacrifice bunt and an RBI. Yeah, he's the one who did the, the, the what's it called? Like the safety, safety, not safety squeeze, but he did, yeah, kind of. All right, it's up. Should be the game, and it is safely in Jason Hayward's perennial good glove, head glove. And it's, that's that game. Dan Winkler, five for five and save opportunities despite making it a little more interesting. Man, oh man. And I have to pee again, but I'm going to still watch this, give some commentary on it. Someone's got, I don't know who's got the glasses. Oh, the Pirates. Pirates coach goes, oh, geez, oh, geez, my head's, my hand's on my head. Well, there it is, four to three. The Cubs break their four-game losing uh, skid. Here now is the final line score tonight. First Alec Mills the with the win, with only pitching .2 innings. No it's kind of nuts. The loss goes to Michael Feliz. The save goes to Dan Winkler with one strikeout, one hit, one inning, one earned run, one walk. He really likes the number one. Jason Hayward. It's the player of the game, three RBI with a big home run. Uh, yeah. And we remind you to please. Yes. Uh, like I said, two for three with a home run, three RBI. Whew. Wasn't that interesting? Well, from exit here. Someone messaging me or calling me? I think someone texted me. I'm uh, about to. I don't know how many do I have to go to? Oh, I've got two more games. Two more games to do if I want to make sure to stream. I'll do maybe I'll do one tonight and then the one tomorrow, or maybe I'll do I don't know. We'll see. But you guys, thanks for coming to the Cubs fan fantasy simulation commentary. Thing. I don't know. I always forget the name of it. Uh, but yeah, we'll, I'll be back here in a second to do at least one more. So join us again in like 10 minutes. Thank you.